Number 65. A shirtless rider under a circus tent feels the heat radiating from the sunlit portion of the tent. Calculate the temperature of the tent canvas based on the following information. The shirtless rider's skin temperature is 34 degrees Celsius and has an emissivity of 0.97. The exposed area of the skin is 400 meters square, uh, excuse me, 0.4 a meter square. He receives radiation at the rate of 20 watts, half of what you would, blah, blah, blah. The rest of the surroundings, 34. Okay. Um, so we're talking about radiation, right? Two different temperatures. Basically, we're asked to calculate the temperature of the tent um, and they give us the temperature of the skin. So we're going to use that formula over there. All right. So this says that the net power is going to be equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity of the object absorbing the energy. Um, multiplied then by the uh, square area of that body of absorbing that energy, multiplied then by the temperature difference between the two. Okay, so we are asked to find, so why don't we just plug in what we know for right now? We know the power they told us is 20 watts. The Stefan Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. The emissivity they told us is 0.97. The area is going to be 0.4. And now the temperature difference. Which one should you plug in where? Just don't worry about it. Plug it in. And then if the answer doesn't make sense, if it's like lower or just, just or if it's negative or whatever, just flip the signs. OK, it should it we we should be able to come up with the right answer regardless here. All right. Um, so uh, let's just plug in T2 as the temperature. We don't know that'll be the temperature of the tent. Then minus then the temperature of the skin, which is 34 degrees Celsius. But you need that in Kelvin. So 273 plus 1034, 273 plus 34 is going to be. 307. So this is 307 raised to the fourth. All right. We also know that the 10 should be hotter, right? So if I make this a positive answer and I know the tent will be hotter than the skin because the guy or person or woman is absorbing, right, the energy, then I know uh, if this is greater than this, then this whole term will turn out to be positive. So everything sounds like it's going to work out nicely. So why don't we just combine these terms? and then divide them out on the right-hand side. So basically I'm going to take 5.67 times 10 to the minus eight, multiplied by 0.97, multiplied by 0.4, and then I'm gonna take 20 and divide it by that whole multiplication. So now this works out to be 9.09 .09 times 10 raised to the, what do we have? Three, six, seven, eight. And that's gonna equal T, T2 raised to the fourth minus 307 raised to the fourth, add then, 307 raised to the fourth to both sides. And then, so we would have something like this, 9.79 times 10 to the, what is this now? Uh, one second, three, six, it looks like nine, okay. And then just take the fourth root, raise both sides up to the reciprocal of the power to get rid of that power. So now T2 is going to be, so we're gonna raise to the one fourth and here we go, about 300 and 300 and looks like 15 about. That's in Kelvin. All right, that is equal to then the temperature. If you need to then find that value, you know, in Celsius, just minus then the 273 from that. That's about 41 and a half or 42, whatever, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, that, that's the answer. Okay. So, um, anything, yeah, and then discuss how the situation would change if the sunless side was white and the covered was white. So, if the tent was white, it wouldn't absorb as much energy from the sun. And if the person had white stuff on them, then uh, the person would absorb less energy as well. So, just the answer is less energy. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.